Hi, my name is Chad Sinclair. I'm from Vancouver, Canada. I've been in China for just 21 years now. Uh, I've been learning Sichuan style Penjing for tw that, that long. And now I am residing in Chengdu and I am a cultural ambassador for Wenzheng. Uh, my, my hopes is to um, promote Penjing to, to the outside world and to ha get people familiar with Sichuan Penjing. Every day here at the expo, people come here in, in many buses to see the flowers in Penjing. It's a great place to hang out and see a beautiful park. Let's go check it out. Uh, the cool thing about Sichuan Penjing is the way it twists and turns like a dragon or like a roller coaster, how it goes up and down, up and down. As you can see, the trunk twisting around like this. This is a very old tree, absolutely beautiful to see, and you can see there's many here in the park, just in this one area. Ever since I've been chosen as, as one of the ambassadors, um, I've been busy um, taking a lot of pictures of, of Penjing, and I also did some videos. Um, with those videos and pictures, I have uploaded them onto the social media platforms. Chengdu has, has done a great job in um, promoting it, the, the, the Horticultural Expo in Chengdu. It's also built like many international gardens. So for this, it's building a bridge uh, to other countries and building a friendship with the, these other countries. And with this expo, it, it's brought in a lot of uh, revenue, um, a lot of tourism, and um, it's great. It's, it's basically put Chengdu on the map as a place to go if you want to see flowers in Penjing. I came to China uh, 21 years ago to learn uh, Penjing, and then it took about 16 years to learn Sichuan style Penjing. To find a teacher, it was impossible because I couldn't speak Chinese and no one could speak English. And so um, I learned from looking at the, the Penjing and going to every garden and, and spending hours and hours of, of just taking pictures of every angle of the trees and, and, and that and then I'd take those pictures and videos home and I would study them. And then I would work on my penjing on what I saw at, at the gardens. And that's how I got to uh, become better and better. In my garden, I have a lot of uh, yellow Buddha belly. Um, I prefer that. Um, it's easier to work with. Um, it grows tall, but it has smaller leaves. In Chengzhou, I, I have a small penjing garden, newer penjing that I want to build later this year. Um, after I move my garden to a bigger garden, um, I have at least 50 or 60 more penjing to make. And so uh, thanks to this expo, um, I got a lot of great ideas. I'm going to make bigger penjing, uh, more classical Chinese style, um, more uh, Sichuan style. I, I want to finish my penjing book. Um, I, I want to write at least one or two penjing books on Sichuan style. Also, I'm, I'm going to um, do a lot more videos to promote the art. Um, I'm also, I also want to bring more tour groups to Chengdu and to see my garden. That's the plan. Um, I just have to get everything in motion. Thanks to this expo, um, I got a lot of great ideas. I have bought some of the, the, the building materials for the penjing, for the newer penjing that I'm going to make and now I just need to get get more ideas and um, be patient. <laughs> Welcome to Chengdu. Come and visit the International Horticulture Expo.